What's up guys? Uh, this is a, a tutorial on of hopefully how to fix the Philips uh, 2200 series. Uh, I currently have a problem that whenever I'm making coffee there is a uh, water leaking from underneath so I can just demonstrate it and so you can see actually what's happening so I'm choosing my favorite beverage espresso so it's doing what it needs to do so far and if we're looking closely I don't know if you will see water is starting to drip Yeah, disaster. The coffee machine is just leaking. I'm still getting my espresso, but a little bit less of what I should. So I went through the book and I've done everything in the book. And I even found uh, uh, on YouTube uh, somebody that actually replaced the, uh, the seals which I'm going to show you shortly um, so when we're taking it out the water tank and open this door removing the brewing unit let's see if I can do it with one hand yep okay so you can see those o-rings so Somebody said that uh, we, uh, on the internet that that was his problem. So I ordered a new O-ring, it arrived. So I'm going to remove this one now and let's see how it's going, okay? Okay, so I am removing the first seal. Okay, there it is, the one. And I'm just simply using nails. Let's see if it's going to work. A little bit slippery, but not impossible. Okay, so here's the second one. And uh, when I inspect it, I can see that there is like a tear. I don't know if you can see it. There. It doesn't look very good. It's actually torn. <laughs> so that seems like a, a good news, I would, I would think. So let me prepare the new part. We're gonna assemble it and make another coffee. Let's see if it solves the problem. Okay, so I have those two O-rings. Uh, they weren't cheap, I must say. <laughs> so, uh, so let's see. I'm going to, to install them. So first I'll start with the bigger one. Slide it just on top. It's really very simple to do and the second one slightly trickier but yeah now we assemble it it's a good time to put the brewing unit oh yeah Let's see so so not too hard that's done let's close the door Let's put the water tank and okay this time I can choose a nice coffee just not to waste it because otherwise I'm getting I'm getting high on caffeine so we'll do it thing and let's hope that this solves the problem I don't know if you can see, but it seems like the water is still running. Ah, so that clearly wasn't the issue on this one. So I don't know if you have the same problem. Please uh, drop a comment below. 
I think that the only way would be will be just to start opening this machine and see actually what's happening and it looks like I'm going to have to do it next so stay around if you would like to see if this machine was fixed at the end of it thank you okay as you can see I removed the back of the coffee machine removing those two screws it's a star screw I think what well look like it's the one that looks like a star I'm not quite sure what it is it, but I have uh, because I'm fixing computers as well I have this one as well so it was quite fairly easy to open but you can see there is a lot of mess from coffee and uh, the back of it that's a start so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to vacuum this whole coffee clean it you can see I remove it from the plug and uh, let's see how it works afterwards. Now it's clean, but I would like to remove this piece so I can see what's happening when it's dripping. In order to do this, I think, I think I have to open this screw and maybe that the panel will, will get, uh, will be released. So let's let's try. Okay, so it's you can see it's it's stuck in here, so I had to take out those three screws and now I have a chance to to lift this this thing, this whole thing up. It gives me an opportunity to see what's going on in here. So there is a lot of coffee everywhere in here and uh, okay so I can see that there is another screw in here that you need to open so I'm gonna open it and see what's going on I'm not gonna remove the whole unit because I just want to show and see what's going on and so on this side I managed to remove okay I, I think that there might be another screw so here i move it yeah there is another screw in here so i hope you can see this this screw i remove it too and let's see what's the mess okay so okay so here it is we can see how it looks yeah there is a lot of mess again so what I think to do is again vacuum and then uh, we should start the machine and see how is it working and where is the leak coming from. I'm suspecting a leak from somewhere here. I can see this is wet but we'll see when it's pumping you can see what's what's the problem in it. So I will vacuum and clean it and let's uh, test it again. Now the machine is clean, but I would like to make it run without uh, brewing any coffee. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just to put back the brewing urine unit. And of course, sorry about that. And the water tank. And the tray with the Bin. okay let's see how it's going to do now so you have to let's see let's see what's going to happen I have to push it down because there is a spring load it's spring loaded here at the grinder the coffee grinder so I let it warm up and um, as soon as it warms up we'll try to do a wet run And we can see okay so it's warming up I think that also on the startup it will do some leaking from somewhere so I want to see where it's leaking from okay now as you can see there is a that's the leak that's the leak I can find I think I found the leak hmm
I saw water spraying from from this point. I don't know if you can see it clearly. So what I will do, I'll make it believe that I'm making an espresso. I don't put anything, but I'm going to override the grinder by pressing the coffee. Yeah, so now it's think that we have coffee ground. It's not going to use the grinder. Let's see what's happening when we're doing, we're making coffee. Let's see. So I'm going to let it run. Let's see if you can see. It's probably gonna spray on the camera. Luckily we are waterproof. Can you see? Can you see the, the water running in here? Straight into this yellow wire. It's actually hot water that it's dripping. So that's uh, very interesting. Okay, so let's see if I can fix it. I may need a new part. So I'm just gonna pull this one, this pin out. Okay. That was fairly easy to remove and yeah, just to make sure that the electricity is not connected and okay, so we can see it was running from here somewhere. I don't know if you can see, I think we have a problem with this part. I think this is the part that needs to be replaced. So I'm going to need to order it, reinstall it, and see if it's going to work. I don't think it's a big problem. Okay, so after a long wait, probably around two months, finally the package has arrived so we can replace this faulty part. Okay, this, uh, this is what it is. And it's been sent from Part Hub. South Africa. I mean, they were very efficient. They, they are supplying for big companies and here is the magic part. So thumbs up and many thanks to Martin that uh, helped me actually. And I mean, they even send it for free. I say I can collect it and they send it for free. They're really, really reasonable. So if you need to use them, I'll leave a link in the description below that they, they were great and excellent service. Even though it take, took some time, but this is where their fault. It's probably the shipping from wherever the manufacturer is. So thank you so much. Let's see how we can fix this machine now. Okay, so the part took so long to come and I was impatient and I tried to really put like a, some sort of petty on it and it didn't work. This, this part is working under such a high pressure. So what I did actually, so now we that we can replace the old part with the new part. This part comes basically without any of the seals, with the rubber seals. So what you need to do is to basically remove those seals that are inside by yourself. So I remove already the first one. So the way to remove them is just take a flat screwdriver, be careful not to dent those uh, seals. You can see those are small seals. And on the bottom as well, or the, the wider part as well. So. Okay. So this is how it looks. It's one big rubber at the, the thicker part. And there are two two seals basically that are uh, going to come on the thinner part and now we can see it's actually empty we're verifying it and now I can just reassemble it and prepare it for installation okay so the best way uh, now to put these uh, seals onto this small part is not actually to push it in. It's very simple with no particular order because those seals are the same size. So the small red ones going to go on this pipe and then 
the black one with no particular order or there's no up and down side so you just put it on the hose of the pressure pump just like that and now you can just push it in and push the hose pipe also in now you can secure with the, the security pins the small one goes on the top and the big one goes on the bottom okay so now that we finished the installation just make sure that you cannot pull it out that it's secure because this is the pressure build up in this tube is enormous and if it's not secure it's going to create some sort of explosion with of the hot water bursting out of here which is quite dangerous so and of course don't connect the line don't connect it to the electricity be careful this is the 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 hot and you can get yourself shocked so be careful okay so now i'm going to test it and see if the water leak has actually been resolved okay i fill up the water i re replace the uh, filter so it's probably going to make a lot of strange noises but let's test if there is uh, any leak still happening and take it from there so I'm gonna switch on the machine. I didn't hear this sound for such a long time, so it's quite exciting, I must say. So while it's working out, let's see if it's actually solved the problem. So I'm looking for a leak from anywhere there. Be careful, do not touch this line. This is hot line, this is gonna shock you. Okay, water is transferred. The sound that you hear is basically a little bit of air that's coming that going through the the pump. I think what it does is just clearing the air. It's been a long time since it worked, but I can see pressure is building. So far there was no leak. It looks okay. So what I can do, uh, let's let's pretend like I'm making a drink. Uh, so let's do espresso, and then I'm going to tell it that it's not coming from the. Okay, so it won't grind for nothing. And let's see. I'm just going to let it do one cycle. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm going to reassemble this uh, coffee machine. Okay, time to check the machine after I close it. So I'll let it run. Okay, look good. So far so good. Now let's make a real espresso. So hopefully it will do just fine. So one espresso. Okay, the liquid of gold is pouring. And I think it's so exciting. Yeah, 
I'd like uh, to thank last but not least to Angelique from, from Clippers. She's done above and beyond to help me to get and to source this part. She introduced me to Part Hub as well. Many thanks, uh, Angelique. So thank you very much for joining me on this one. If this content helped you, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. Thank you so much. Till the next time, goodbye.